Hey, Budgeteers. I received a question along the lines of, why is my tax filing not free anymore? They told me it would be free, and now I'm paying something to file my taxes. Well, that's a great question, and I'm going to answer that today. Filing your taxes for some people is going to end up free, which is great for them, but for those of us that have to file our taxes a little bit more in a complicated way, it's going to start to cost us money. It's a fact that we have to accept. There are ways that we could go out and itemize and create our own documents and we can put it all together ourselves, but without being tax professionals, it's really dangerous to do that. So I would highly recommend using a tax service. And I talked about those in the last video. So if you want to go back and check that out, I have a card right here for you to go and take a look at that. But with this, you started out at $0 for both your federal and state return. And all of a sudden now you're paying something. Why is that? That's a great question. And the reason for that is because you're going from a form that is generally pretty easy for a tax filing service to have you use. In fact, it's so easy that it has EZ in the name of the tax filing form that you use to file it. So tax companies will tell you that they can do that for you for free because someday you're going to own a home and you're going to pay charities and you're going to do a whole bunch of other things that are going to make you start to pay for your tax services. So for example, when I was in college and going through school, I was working really hard, but I wasn't making enough money to basically have anything. I was just renting. I had a very easy life. And so all I had was my W-2, which W-2s are another question that we'll be answering in the next video. So I had my W-2 and that was about it. Other than that, I wasn't doing much else with my taxes. So I would go online and I would file for $0. It was absolutely free and great. However, as I got married and as I bought a house, as I started investing, as I started doing other things, all of a sudden my taxes got more complicated and now they're charging me more and more money as I do more and more things, including starting a business and moving forward with everything that I do. So it gets pretty complicated. At that time, I realized it's worth paying some money in order to get all of this in order. I don't want to be doing it myself because I don't really know what I'm doing as a tax accountant. So I highly recommend that you look into one of those services and get your taxes filed. Now make sure that you're not overpaying. There are different prices between all of the different softwares. You can go in to a tax filing service and you can actually work with someone and they'll be happy to help you through that process. Uh, it doesn't typically cost you much more, if anything more, than filing online. So it may be worth it to you to go in and sit with someone and get that all taken care of. There are many different options for filing your taxes, but once it gets more complicated than using the easy form, you do have to pay for that service. And on some softwares, they'll start to have you pay for your state filings and other filings as well, even if you're doing it without many deductions. So make sure that you're always looking around and that you're trying to find the best software. I gave five last time. Hopefully one of those will work for you if you're still in the free zone. If not, find the cheapest one or the most convenient for your time and money and go with that one. Good luck in filing budgeteers. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm extremely glad to have you here. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. For more awesome videos, make sure you are subscribed.